Greetings, hello, hi. We made it out of Switzerland, unfortunately. Can't say I'm thrilled to be back, but here we are. I have been traveling for the past almost two months and like we just left the house in a state. I wanted to make a video, just kind of a vlog today, take you through how I'm kind of readjusting back to being back after traveling for so long. I came back to the longest to-do list of things, brands and projects and things that were waiting on me that I didn't have a choice but to immediately do on top of feeling jet lagged and on top of coming back to the messiest house. On a positive note, what I planned for for this kind of transition week coming back to real life was my nutrition and my meals. Whenever you get home from a trip and you open your fridge and there's nothing there and you don't want to go to the grocery store because you're just exhausted, you haven't unpacked yet, the last thing you want to do is just try and put together a meal with your canned tuna and whatever else you can find. I planned ahead. I plan to do Saqqara all this week. Saqqara Life is a meal program that is all plant-based, organic, nutrient-dense meals. Saqqara offers a signature nutrition program. You can either do a three-day week or a five-day week. I love Saqqara for so many reasons. When I tell you they are delicious, I am time and time again impressed with how good Saqqara's meals are, but at the core of what Saqqara Life believes is fueling the body with organic nutrient dense foods that reset your nutrition and your body and just really give you that energy that you need. I can't think of anything else that I need more this week than that. And I don't have any regrets whatsoever, but my diet consisted of bread and cheese and wine. So I do feel a little bit like I needed that nutrition <laughs> boost and a little bit of a reset coming back into real life. Sakara is literally perfect for that. So I'm eating my breakfast, which is this delicious spiced apple cider muffin with apple butter on each of the little containers that the food comes in. There's a superfood spotlight where it kind of explains what's in it in a really cute, adorable way. All of the these meals are created with a nutritionist and an expert chef to ensure that they are like the most nutritious healing ingredients that they could possibly be. Given that this is extremely healthy, nutritious, healing, plant-based, organic, non-GMO, dairy-free, all that stuff, food, it tastes fantastic. Even if I wanted to try and cook every meal, it literally just wouldn't have happened for me this week. I've been, it's just a lot, all the projects I'm catching up on and I'm not done yet and it's February, whatever your lifestyle is, which is what I love so much about it. Another thing I love about Saqqara, it doesn't deliver on the weekends. On the weekends, you gotta go out there and live your life and eat the pizza and drink all the cocktails and wine and milkshakes and frappuccinos or whatever you want. They really believe in that balance and I also very much believe in balance. So I really love that as well. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that Zach is also doing Saqqara. Yeah, I am. That's delish. <laughs> So we got a double order and it says a lot that Zach approves of it. Mm -hmm. It's not picky. <laughs> I like picky. healthy food and this is healthy and delicious, so. The portions I think for Zach are maybe a tiny bit on the smaller side, but you can also supplement if you need. Sometime in the span of the last two months while we've been gone, something weird happened to this clock. It says that it is Monday the 3rd of January, 2021. Thank goodness that is not the case, but it's like still working. So I need to figure that out because it's like stressing me out every time I come downstairs in the morning and it says that it's 2021. Me 2022, baby. Another huge, huge win. The plants are still alive. Well, mostly. <laughs> These guys all have been fully resuscitated with lots of water. This one didn't make a full recovery yet. This one, oops. So sorry, I'm so sorry. We really left our apartment in quite a state. This is some snow stuff, winter clothing. This is our big bag of all of our ski and snow apparel from our travels through Switzerland. I need to figure out what of this needs to be washed and what of it can just go straight into storage. And then Christmas, Christmas, more Christmas. And then, yeah, just some like random stuff everywhere. Um, exciting new feet collab stuff, random other things. It was much worse, but I cleaned up a bit yesterday. Stuff to donate, more packages that just arrived, more stuff to donate, more PR stuff that just shows up.
Christmas lights have been on for two straight months. <laughs> I am so impressed at these batteries. It is already looking so much better in here. Like just seeing this clear space right now brought me so much inner joy and inner peace. If you're ever feeling like you don't have your life together, just clear one corner of your home and I promise you, you will feel better almost instantaneously. Okay, I'm starving, absolutely famished. It's time for lunch. Whenever I'm doing Saqqara and it's meal time, the amount of excitement that I get is comparable to it being Christmas morning. Knowing that I have a already prepared, cooked, nutritious and delicious meal in my fridge waiting for me, Cooking might be cool, but I don't know if it'll ever compare to that feeling of knowing you have that. No hate to cooking, no shade to cooking. I'm sure one day I'm gonna be super into cooking, but right now, can't say that I am, can't say that I uh, have the time to be, <laughs> so. For lunch today, we are having classic chopped salad with magic mushroom dressing. So excited. All of Saqqara's meals also come in these very chic containers. I do wish that there was a more sustainable option than this plastic, but I will say these are so easily reusable and they're really cute and perfect for salads or just holding other meals or being your, um, like your Tupperware containers in your fridge or whatever. So it's definitely reusable and also recyclable. So we'll let it slide because this stuff is so good. Also wanted to show, I have this detox water from Saqqara. It's just basically chlorophyll and it's just so fun because watch. I feel like I'm doing like a science experiment every time I make some. Look at that. So cool. Probably gonna spill this all over my chairs. Tastes like you're drinking pond water. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Like, I'm confused how they make fresh vegetables manage to taste so good. Like, it's just vegetables. It's just lettuce. But it tastes so good. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the quality of the vegetables. They also make the most amazing dressings that are so like clean. There's not anything crazy in them, but they have the best flavors. Like their dressings, their dressings are my fave. Usually I feel like the thought of having salad for lunch is kind of boring. Saqqara to me is different. Their salads are phenomenal. They are just like the perfect mix of like veggies and then there's protein. It's actually surprisingly filling. Like I eat a lot and I find that I'm satisfied. I'm not stuffed, which is good. <laughs> Welcome to my office. I made some Saqqara detox tea with some superfood honey, a lot of superfood honey. <laughs> I like to have something really sweet after I eat. So this is like the perfect little sweet treat. My afternoon is gonna look like getting a little bit of work done. I had to shoot for a brand that I work for, I had to post for a brand, do some editing and stuff like that. And then Zach also left. I can't believe this is happening, but he is going to go play in a cornhole tournament. The only reason I'm not going with him is because it's over by his parents' house. He's staying over there for the weekend to go see his parents and stuff, and I would go as well, but it's my friend Amanda's birthday tomorrow, and I don't wanna miss that because I haven't seen any of my friends in a really long time because we've been traveling for so long. So I am staying back, and I will not witness his first cornhole tournament and I will not be able to vlog that, which is really sad because that would just be great vlog material. Basically, I'm home alone now. I'm trying to be productive, get back on track. And I think the main things that I wanna try and get done this afternoon are unpack, do laundry, clear out the bathroom a little bit. It's really messy. If I can do all that, today will be a flying success. I don't normally do like have a planner and, or do journaling or anything, but I got this plan from it's actually from bulletproof coffee ever since we've been back I've been using it and I am 
I'm really loving it. It gives you like your top three most important things to do for the day, a space to put your full to-do list, notes, a place to put your schedule. Like it's actually perfect for me. I also filled out this calendar that I have on the wall. This is my big acrylic calendar that I use to kind of just have like a whole month at a glance. I don't necessarily use this as like my daily tasks or daily to-do list, but it's just nice to be able to quickly look over when you're working and just see what's coming up or what day it is or whatever. There's just something about writing out your to-do list that is different to typing it in your phone that really, for me, I find is very helpful for me to kind of internalize my to-do list. Like as I'm writing it out with my handwriting, I just, I don't know, it just like clicks more. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys that I've been in severe pain all day. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I think I'm getting old because I was getting dressed this morning. Sorry if this sounds weird, but my legs were freshly moisturized and I was pulling on my leggings. Whenever my legs are like freshly lotioned, I'm very careful the way that I pull my leggings on not to like scrape the lotion off. I don't know. I was kind of like pulling them on in a weird manner and I pulled something in my and so it has inspired me to get a massage. I don't do this ever. I mean, I have before, but it's not something that I like do a lot. And I was planning on going to a place nearby um, to get this massage, but it was fully booked. So I found an app where you can order a masseuse to your house. So I'm so excited. I'm having like a little spa night, which is just kind of what I need. I feel like I just, I just really need a massage. So that's actually happening in like an hour and a half. I'm gonna see how much I can get done and and tire myself out so that I am ready to be massaged when the massage is here. All right, let's get to it, come on. <laughs> we got a lot to do. Just to give you guys an idea of the reality of my bedroom. I know, I know, it's so bad. It's so bad and this isn't even the worst of it. The chair, everyone has some kind of chair or ottoman or surface where they just pile everything. Well, this is mine. This is my moment. Now I'm going to unpack. So I'm gonna start with my big case and my goal for this room right now is just to unpack these suitcases. If I can just do that, I think that's just a manageable amount of work, not too overzealous, not unrealistic. And then maybe, just maybe, if I do that, I'll keep going and clear up my other situations. So let's, let's see what happens. Success. I successfully unpacked the two suitcases. I honestly would keep going, except I don't have much time before my massage arrives. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of get ready for my massage. Yeah, I'll just kind of wind down a little bit, I think. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think I'm actually in more pain now than I was before. That was a deep tissue massage. I don't think I've ever done like a proper deep tissue massage before. There were definitely parts that felt good, but she just really, really got in there. I feel so relaxed, but my whole body is super sore. And she said I was gonna be sore for like two days. She also recommended I take a bath or a sauna. So I might do that. But now it's dinner time. Yay, I'm so hungry. For dinner, I get to have lasagna bolognese and then an amazing balsamic salad. The app that I used to book the massage, if anyone's curious, is called Soothe. I highly recommend <laughs> booking yourself a massage. I know it's kind of a luxury, but it was actually not too bad. I mean, that was a two hour massage and it was $200. Why wait until you're on vacation to treat yourself to a massage? Like you should be doing that just randomly. I clearly need to do that more often because all of the past six years of stress had manifested itself into my shoulder blades according to the massage lady, and that's not good. <laughs> this is your sign to book a massage. Just waiting for my lasagna to heat up. 
Throughout the week, I have been heating up a lot of the meals, all the ones that are made to be warmed up. I just like having a warm dish if I can, but Zach is like, he has to heat everything up, which is kind of annoying actually. But um, he's been doing Sakara with me. He took his meals to his parents' place. So he's eating, he's eating lasagna over there actually. He's probably in his cornhole tournament right now. I haven't heard from him. He's probably really, really zoned in. so good mm. that is hitting the spot wow look at that portion too like that is a really hefty portion wow this is so good what i love about sakara you really can feel the love that went into this food the way that it's made it's just so thoughtful and so just well made and fresh. All Sakara customers get access to a nutritionist if they have questions or want to get some more info on diet stuff or anything really, which I think is so cool that they, they extend that to their customers. Just getting my lunch. We have ginger almond noodles. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I attempted to film an outro last night. Maybe we can play a little bit of the outro here with no audio, <laughs> me looking extremely disheveled. My brain was not working and it just overall was a fail. And then I realized why would I not just continue vlogging today a little bit? because I wanna show a little bit more about what I've been eating through the Sakara program. We're gonna keep vlogging. It's gonna be a two day vlog, cause why not? This morning, I woke up in so much agony. That massage, I've never done a deep tissue massage before, destroyed me. This morning, I remembered, oh wait, we have a sauna in our house. Sometimes I completely forget that we have a sauna in our house, um, which is sad because Zach and I got this sauna as Christmas and birthday gifts to each other a couple years ago. So I hopped in the sauna at 9 a.m. this morning. After your massage, like the toxins are really released, but you gotta, gotta get them out still. To be so honest, I don't feel great. And I think it's the toxins. The sauna probably also made me tired. I'm just gonna kind of take it pretty easy-ish today. I'm so glad I have this delicious food to eat because I know that's really gonna help with the detox Fine. had to do some googling to make sure I wasn't dying <laughs> but I'm feeling better already in terms of the soreness I'm just feeling a little bit sluggish home alone again which is very rare I'm just taking today to catch up on work a little bit I had a call already with the company that I'm invested in and then I have another call this afternoon to go over some her own stuff her own is my my baby <laughs> Her own is my swimwear company that I started last year. We're gearing up for the next drop. So I have a call with some of the team, the designer that I work with, and we're just going back and forth in like the preliminary stages of design. So I have a call for that. Truly is 24 seven, like every waking moment, I'm there's something I could be doing. We are gonna try and take it easier today, but Sakara could not have come at a better time to be honest. So I'm gonna make some lunch right now and Enjoy it upstairs before my meeting. For lunch, the Sakara meal is black bean noodles with an amazing green salad with sweet potato, cabbage, lots of really, really good veggies, plus a ginger dressing. So, so good. Like this is right up my alley. And I just know this is what my body needs. I just feel, my body is definitely craving the nutrients right now. I think cause I'm so like flushed out. This is absolutely perfection. I feel like there might be a misconception that a meal plan like this is just salad, but that is so far from the truth. I mean, last night I had lasagna. Today I'm having noodles with like sweet potato. It definitely involves more hearty and filling dense food, but every single ingredient is there specifically for what it does for you. So there's no like filler. It's great to just let your body eat like that for a week, two weeks, however long you need. Ideally for 
your whole life, but that's not that realistic in today's society. But to just let your body eat for the nutrients rather than just eat for pleasure or because you're hungry, I think that's really, really special. And that's what makes Sakara so fantastic of a program that they have figured out a way to create meals that are not only the nutrients, because that part's not that hard to nail, but also taste amazing and that are so enjoyable as well. Also, you may have noticed that while I'm eating during this vlog, I'm trying not to like look at a screen or be distracted. So for a lot of the clips, I'm just like staring into nothing or look like I'm really into the food, which I am. One of the things that Sakara believes in is mindful eating and actually stopping when you eat and just experiencing the food and not we're always looking at something else or our minds are always elsewhere as we're eating and don't get me wrong I absolutely love nothing more than eating dinner and watching a movie or TV I think that's great but while I'm doing Sakara, I am more mindful of trying to practice that eating without distraction and just focus on how good everything is maybe there's something that happens when you're appreciating the food you're eating your body absorbs it in a different way. I'm not a scientist, don't know if that's true, just a theory. Here's to enjoying every bite of this. Delicious goodness. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Happy Friday. Just finished my design meeting for her own and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're just finalizing some new prints that we've been going back and forth on and making a lot of changes to. I'm just gonna go see if I can do one more thing on my list for work for the week, even though I'm working this weekend too, to be honest. But tonight is my friend Amanda's birthday. Well, today is her birthday. Tonight we're celebrating her. So we're doing a girl's dinner in terms of what I'm planning to do about food. Just because I am doing Saqqara, I'm gonna to eat my Saqqara earlier since I typically eat around like six or seven and dinner is at eight so I'll have the Saqqara and then I'll have like a, a lighter dinner later but totally gonna not hold back the place we're going has sushi and sushi is my favorite thing in the whole world so I'm definitely gonna have some sushi later so yeah that's the plan hey <laughs> just uh don't mind me filming some stories for Fabletics. Knocked one thing off the list that was due in January that I uh, was late on due to staying in Switzerland. At first I was kind of embarrassed to show me filming stories, but then I'm like, how do people think that those are filmed? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna sit in bed for a little and uh, take a little break. <laughs> Muster up the energy for socializing tonight but I'm so excited to see my friends because I haven't seen them in so long. So I am really looking forward to it. I'm just a little tie tie. I'm getting ready for dinner. I did my makeup. Well, I put more makeup on top of the very light makeup that I already had on because I don't have the energy to wash my face and start fresh. And I, uh, I ran a curling iron through my hair and I promise, I promise, I promise I'm filming the curling tutorial soon. I promise. Sorry it's taken me so long. I was just, just traveling through Europe and didn't have a good time to film it. Also, the longer it takes me to film, the more I delay, the more of an expert I am at the curl. So it'll be worth the wait. Going downstairs, cause it's dinner time. Well, dinner number one, one of two. Dinner number two is gonna be tonight with my girls. Dinner number one is right now. My last Saqqara meal of the week is rainbow noodle pho, and it comes with this grounding broth so I'm gonna heat this up and enjoy before I head out to Venice for dinner with my girls while my pho heats up I just wanted to share some concluding thoughts on Saqqara as I'm coming to the end of this week of doing the program and I just really feel that Saqqara is a super unique service it's not a meal plan that feels like it's just about restricting and dieting and that's what I really love about it because I am such an intuitive eater I just find that all of the recipes that are delivered feel like there's just so much love put into them and so much intention behind each ingredient that it really feels like it's about the nutrition and I think that's what food is if you strip food down to its very 
core purpose. It's to provide nutrients to give you energy. There's so much filler food in today's society that isn't really doing much for us. If anything, it could be harming us. Saqqara has really nailed singling out the ingredients and the fresh fruits and vegetables that are gonna give the body key nutrients that will improve digestion and sleep, overall health and wellness, and just daily energy and body function and everything that our bodies are made to do. All the ingredients are the best that they could possibly be without sacrificing flavor and taste and deliciousness. I personally am a huge fan of Saqqara, whether it's something that I will do every single week for the rest of my life, I don't think so. I love having it, especially for weeks like this one where I really wanted that health reset and I didn't have anything in the fridge because I just got back from a trip. It's perfect for that. It's also perfect for anyone who's so busy and doesn't have time to cook and has the means to have a service like this. For this to be your everyday default meal plan is also a fantastic option. I'm sure you would see incredible benefits from eating this way for a prolonged period of time. I just love knowing that I have it whenever I need it. I do have a code that will get you 20% off of your meal plan, one use per person, but my code will get returning customers and new customers 20% off and I will put it on the screen and in the description you can go check out Saqqara. All the links will be there, everything you need to know. My pho is probably warm by now. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner and then head off. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me the past two days as I've just been readjusting to being back in LA and kind of just rambling to the camera as I've been doing things. <laughs> Let me know if you like this style of vlog or what your favorite style of video for me is and I will try and do more of that because I love you and I appreciate you and thank you for watching and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles. Bye. Love ya.